I went to uh, a mosque. Oh yeah. Yeah, just to get like an idea. It was like an offering day, you know. Like so you had the uh, imam or, or another name I forgot, and he was like, explaining the pointless of that. Yeah. Yeah, I found it really interesting, and then that was done, and then, yeah, and then I, and then I bought a Quran. Yeah. Then I bought one then from the, uh, like in, the in the mosque, you know, so I got a nice big one. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, and it was, and I was like reading it. So you're just looking into it? Yeah, yeah. And so what's your, it, do, you, do you believe, you believe in a God? Like, but, yeah, well, I don't, but you're just kind of looking at... I was always pretty atheist. Yeah. And then, and then moved to London, and it was a big change from where I'm from, I'm in my culture. Yeah. Hey, from everyone there in London. Yeah. But yeah, no, I was just looking into it, and then yeah. few, for the last month, things were a bit longer. I bought the Quran, but it was from like Waterstone, so it was a Quran, but yeah. it wasn't like you know, the nice big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I did see a nice big one in the bookshop last, and I started reading it. Yeah. So, yeah, I, so like one side is English, and the other side is Arabic, and I'm only reading the English book. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, You've got, you got a Quran now, we've yeah, got, because yeah, yeah, we can get you one if yeah. you know. Yeah. No, no, I got yeah. one, thanks. And, uh, yeah, it's it's, yeah. it's, yeah, it's a bit interesting, right? Yeah, I mean, for for us, Islam is is the continuation of uh, prophets. So we believe that God sent prophets throughout time. You, as you might know, some of them: Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad is the final messenger. And we believe God sent messages through them prophets. He originally sent Moses a Torah, Jesus an Injil. But we believe that these messages no longer exist. You know, we, we don't. The final message, the Quran, is is the one that we accept today. You know, this is the one that's been sent, been sent from God, and uh, we believe it's fully preserved since the time of Prophet Muhammad, and it, it tells us about Allah, who Allah is, and who He is not. You know, so, the basic concept of Allah is we can't imagine God. It's beyond our understanding. You know, beyond our comprehension. What we know about Allah is what he tells us in the Qur'an and what Prophet Muhammad also told us about him. But we don't believe in the Christian concept of Jesus being God or the Son of God. You know, we pray directly to God and we pray five times a day. We fast Ramadan, we, we pay zakat, uh, which is charity, and we, we go to a pilgrimage to Mecca once in a lifetime. And some of the basic beliefs that we believe in, belief in Allah, in God, Belief that he's created angels amongst us. Uh, belief that he's uh, sent books to different prophets. Belief that he sent prophets. Uh, belief in the judgment day and the belief in the divine decree. So we believe that this life is a test. And at the end of this life, we will be tested to see if we were Muslim. And the ones who are Muslim will go to paradise. So I mean, this is like the basic kind of structure of what yeah. we believe as Muslims. No, I, I just felt really interested in there, and I started yeah. because always like people sort of grew up sort of like atheist or you know, there's nothing there, prove it sort of thing. Yeah. But I said, well, since I come to London, I meet mean, from from everywhere. Yeah. And yeah, I, I'm not sure that I've done it completely, but I just started like researching yeah. stuff. And then, yeah, I went to London Central Mosque uh, last Sunday because uh, on Instagram it put like. Um, like an introduction day thing. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah so you just went to check it out? I went to check it out, yeah, and the guy was explaining stuff and that yeah. was really good and stuff and then yeah. came and then that said got a nice big yeah. one, you know, like, like a big one yeah. is, so easy yeah. to read to me. Nice and big. Yeah. And yeah I've been really So do you have any questions about Islam? What uh, questions do you have? I've got I suppose like well I don't know everything about it completely yet, but I get yeah. the idea but you know, I know like Allah the one creator and you know, I, I think it makes more sense like personally and for me, it makes more sense. I like how the creator's journey and set his message. Yeah. Prop, yeah. Prop hand, yeah. Yeah. And for me, I sort of like, I like believe it kind of thing, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like in the past, when I, you know, like you didn't like about Christianity and stuff. I don't know. I like, I give yeah. the Bible a go. I couldn't really, I couldn't really yeah. keep reading it. You know, I just found it a bit yeah. boring. But yeah. to be honest, I was the first time I sort of like got into a book when I keep reading it. You know. Yeah. And I just found that I. Another big thing I quite like about it is like um, the discipline, you know, like yeah. Because I think as a, as a person, I believe like in like a certain religion, and obviously one religion is only the right one. Yeah. But two, I think like this one I think was quite good is like I've seen some people like British people or like you know like white reverts or all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. And like 
not all of them, but some of them like, you know, doing stupid things, you know. Yeah. And then, I don't, I don't really believe in going to like, professions and some other people, you know, talk to them and things. The, the only way for me, personally, a guidance would be through, you know, just reading the Quran. Yeah, thing. like a religion, yeah. And it does give us, it gives us a clear way of life, like, you know, it tells us. So you don't drink, you don't, yeah. you don't expose in it. Yeah. Like, and if there's like a higher power who says that, for me, it's like it's easy, easy to do that. You it know? makes but sense, you like, know. Your average, I don't know, Joe Smo, so that's yeah, yeah. good. That's like, why should I listen to yeah, them? Yeah, yeah. So, no, I, I do find it. I mean, for us, if, if somebody holds this, this this concept of God, there's no other religion that teaches this. Yeah. Only Islam has that basic concept where we can't imagine God. He's outside of the creation. He's, he's, he's uh, you know, nothing like God. Nothing like Allah, you know. If you hold that belief, that is a Muslim belief. That is the Muslim concept of God. Um, in order for somebody to become a Muslim, like I've been a Muslim 14 years, I took the shahadi. How do you know that? <laughs> you know, you've done a lot of research already. I suppose yeah. so. Yeah. No, you know. So, so I mean, yeah. I mean, if some, when somebody believes, all it requires is to say the shahada. You know, yeah. the shahada is to declare that there's nothing worthy of worship except Allah. Yeah. It's acknowledging that you don't worship Jesus or Muhammad or God or football stars or whatever it is. Yeah. You, you worship God alone. He's the most important thing. You know, God is the most important thing to you, and you obey God, and you worship God, and you acknowledge that Muhammad is the final messenger. If somebody believes that, then they're Muslim. It requires, but it requires saying it. You know, so the shahada is the first step to becoming a Muslim, and then once somebody becomes a Muslim, then they start to learn the basics of Islam. Learning how to pray, learning how to fast. It's nearly Ramadan, by the way. Yeah, yeah. It's Ramadan in a few weeks. I'm sure you'll yeah. be trying that. Um, and and um, you know, learning the basics. So I mean, why don't you accept Islam? Yeah, no, I'm honestly thinking about it. To be honest, because yeah. I, I haven't got any. Like, I work with some people in, uh, you know, some are Christian and you know, yeah. all kind of faith and stuff. But no, I just I find it. Um, I don't know, I don't know why you, just, you just know it's the truth. Yeah, no, <laughs> For me, when yeah, I started reading the Quran, yeah. it was like, it's just true. I just realized that this yeah. is, it's a trustworthy book. Um, it's something that's preserved where I didn't have that belief in the Bible. Were you religious before you? I went to church. Yeah, I never believed Jesus was God though. Yeah, it's just I had a problem with that from day yeah. from being a young young seven years old. It doesn't make sense. I always prayed to God. I never prayed to Jesus. I said God, I'm praying to you, not Jesus. I think a lot of people do. Yeah, I I I actually believe a lot of Christians do pray to God alone. I think a lot of people in general believe there's only one, isn't there? Yeah. Well, you can't have more than one of the main things yeah. you mean, so... Yeah. Sorry, what's your name again? Matthew. Matthew, okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm John. I'm John. Oh, we just need Matt and Luke now. <laughs> no, so, so, I mean, Matthew, why don't you accept Islam today? You can say the Shahada with me, you know, take the first step. You can, I can, I can help you say it in English and Arabic. I've camera shadows, right? You don't have to be, you don't have to be on camera. Forget the camera. You're not on camera, by the way. You're not, you're not there. You're not on camera. But the main, I don't care about the cameras, bro. It's not, it's, it's, it's about you, really. About if you believe it, and you know, as I said, it's literally just saying there's nothing worthy of worship, worship except Allah, and Muhammad is the final messenger, and that's it. That brings you into the fold of Islam, and that starts your your kind of journey, you know, towards. I just think there's some things you need to like change, you know, before. Do you know what I mean? Look, listen. Let me tell you. I I I had the same thing. I was I used to drink. I had a girlfriend. Yeah. I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And yeah, look, do yeah. you think I don't need to change? I've been a Muslim 14 years. Yeah. I'm not like a, I'm not an angel. I'm not like a perfect yeah, 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 yeah. human being. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's the, the thing, when, once you accept Islam, then you start to work on these things. And yeah. it might take you a week, it might take you a year, it might take you yeah, 10 yeah. years. And it, it's a lifelong thing of learning and coming closer to God, understanding and learning more about Allah. And, and worshiping Allah and becoming better in yourself. It's like a, a purification of yourself and and you just become purified in your actions as well, you know. But it's not something that happens overnight. It's not like, okay, you know, okay, like at the time I was a jazz singer, right? Singing in casinos and, you know, whatever. It's like, 
it, it's not something where you just click and all of a sudden I'm like a, a practicing Muslim and you know so yeah no I, I, I do I find it like interesting because I the big difference I see with like with Islam is that like Christianity is another religion it's like well, it's be the main to it is it's like like, and most Muslims are well, all very like, you know, passionate and like, they stand up what they believe in, you know? Yeah. But if you say it about another religion, no one really defends it, do they? Or, do you know what I mean? But you yeah. see people very like, quite, um, you know, yeah. like, and yeah. very uh, respectful of it, you know? I, think don't, the, the, I don't see that with other religions, you know? I think the thing with Islam is people actually believe it. Mm. There's no doubt about it, you know, like when, when people become Muslim or were they born into Islam, they fully believe it. Whereas I think within Christianity, I think people have always got that doubt in the back of their mind and it, it is always something that's not making sense. It's like, you know, the Jesus God, it doesn't make sense. So it's, and not only that, what do you submit to? You know, as a Christian, they don't have a, a moral code. They don't have details on, like for us, it's very clear, no alcohol. No gambling, you know, uh, five, we've got the five pillars, but we've got, you know, guidance on what, how to live our life and how not to live our life on all aspects of our life without how to be a father, how to be a mother, how to be a son, how to be the correct daughter, you know, how to be a, a, a tradesman. It, 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 there's so much guidance within the Quran and the Sunnah, the, 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 the sayings and the actions of, of Prophet Muhammad. Is there another book? Because I, I, I bought the Quran, but is there yeah. another book of the Hadith? Is it also yeah, the, so the Hadith are basically. Is there yeah, they're, they're, there's, there's many of them, but the, there's the biggest, uh, the most famous collection would be Sahih Bukhari. Yeah. And this is like a collection of the sayings and the actions of Prophet Muhammad. Yeah. So you have the Quran, which is a revelation given to Muhammad. Yeah. This is the Word of God. Whereas the hadith is like the speech and the actions of Muhammad. This is a type of revelation that was given to him, inspired to him. So anything he said or did was a part of revelation. But it's not the Quran, if that makes sense. So, you know, the, 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 the way the Prophet Muhammad interacted with people is all recorded. So we have so much kind of, and he is the best example. He, we believe Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the best example to humanity. Like he was the best example a human could possibly be. And we have that recorded on how to live like him. You know, how to, uh, you know, perfect our life. It makes sense as well, because yeah. it's like, if you like, you know, he's peaceful, you know, like, you think, the concept of like, you know, sacrificing someone, it's, do you know what I mean? It's yeah, like, exactly. Really nice yeah. Bit, so sort of, yeah. I mean, for us, we do believe in Jesus, yeah, right? Prophet, we, 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 he's a prophet, he's a human being, he's a prophet. He, he didn't, he didn't, uh, he wasn't crucified, we don't believe he died for our sins, we don't believe he's the son of God, but we do believe, we do believe in Jesus though, we do believe in, in fact you can't be a Muslim unless you believe in Jesus, you can't deny him as a prophet, so yeah, I mean, you know, as I said, for you, you have, if you have the belief, you believe in Allah, in the con Muslim concept of God, you believe in Muhammad, the first step is Shahada, so I mean, you know, I mean, I can help you. I mean, in, we actually say it in Arabic, and we also say it in English, so you actually understand what you're saying. But in, Ar in Arabic, we say uh, "Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah," and, th and that means I bear witness there's nothing worthy of worship except Allah, and I bear witness that Muhammad is the final messenger. So, I mean, if you like, you can, I can, I can help you pronounce it, but we can do it slowly. Yeah, yeah, because I can only speak English. So, I mean, would you like to do it now? We we'll go through it. I don't know why, I've been nervous that. I just think some things I do, you know, aren't, would be, you know, against, you know, like, you know, Islam. Found, yeah. No, look, look, you look at the Muslims around, none of us are perfect. Yeah. I've been Muslim 14 years, I guarantee you these yeah. things I do yeah, yeah, yeah. that are not correct, you yeah. know. But, just repent your sins. But the way I am now, 14 years on, to the way I was when I first accepted Islam, yeah. is a massive difference. Yeah. If you knew me when I first came to Islam, you'd think, who's this terror away, you know? But th that's what Islam does. It, it purifies your actions, it purifies your beliefs, you know, and, and guides you. This is something that we need in, in, this, in this day and age. We need this spiritual and moral guidance, you know, where laws are changing, rules are changing, people don't even know what's right and wrong anymore. Yeah, and that's another thing. I think the big thing about Islam principles I quite like is it's, it's, it's strict, but like, in a good way. And like some yeah. things you see now, it's just like crazy, isn't it? But 
at least in the world, but now it's like, you know, like, man and woman have got their gender roles. And, Everything's you know, changing, yeah. You know, by the way, this is one of the beautiful things about Islam, by the way. The, the roles of man and women is very clearly set out. Yeah, yeah. And, and by the way, men and women are spiritually equal in the sight of God. The woman can get the highest level of paradise, yeah. the man can get the highest level of paradise. But there's different jobs, as if that makes sense. And, and this is why Islam gives the, the, the uh, responsibility of the man to provide and protect and take care of the family. The woman has to protect the inside of the house for the children, raise the children, take care of the business in the house. But at the same time, We've, we're both equally spiritual. They don't have this uh, propaganda about women, men and women are not equal in Islam. Oh, no, no, we're mean, equal in the guys. sense of spiritual yeah. equal. We can get the same reward in paradise, but we have different ways to get to yeah. that reward. So, the, the first thing we say, we'll say, if you like, we can say it in English first, so then you know what we're saying. So you say, uh, I bear witness. You, do you want to? You say I bear witness. <laughs> sorry, what's you? Yeah. Sorry. No, I, I, I do it. I, I, I see. Sort of, uh, like the only sort of like I said I went to uh, London Central Mosque last Sunday. Yeah. Like an introduction. Yeah. And yeah, it's just like very appealing, you know. And if, yeah. if you think it's more sort of faith, you know. Sort of, yeah. The thing, the thing with Islam. It's not just nice, like, it makes sense, like, the, it's the only religion with this concept of God, which is pure. You can't imagine God, he's beyond our comprehension, he's, he's one, he's self-sustaining, he's not required to, he's not needing any of anything, you know, he's not a man, he's, you know, this type of thing, so, it, as I said, it, this is the only religion that teaches it, and it's the only religion with the guidance on how to live it. And, you know, and it's it's changed my life. I mean, I mean, I wasn't necessarily looking for a religion personally, but when I started to read the Quran, started to look at the guidance, I was convinced that this is the truth. The concept of God for me was well, this is what I already believe: the pure one, you know, concept of one God. So yeah, I mean, if you if you like, we can. You can, you can, I can help you, and we can, we can say, we can say the English and then the Arabic, and I'll help you. Would you like to accept this song? Yeah. Okay. So, the first thing we say is, uh, I bear witness that there's nothing worthy of worship except Allah. There's nothing worthy of worship except Allah. And I bear witness that Muhammad is the final messenger. And I bear witness that Muhammad is the final messenger. Yeah. And in Arabic is Ashadu. And, and la ilaha la ilaha il Allah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan rasulullah rasulullah that's it <laughs> you know it's a, it's a, it, listen it's as simple as that it, when someone accepts Islam, a peace comes on the person. Uh, we believe that at that point when somebody accepts Islam, all the previous sins are wiped away and all the sins are turned into good deeds. And it's like literally starting fresh. It's like it's a new start from now. So after saying that now, that means... After saying that, you are a Muslim. <laughs> and, and not only a Muslim, but a very clean, fresh Muslim. Yes. You're, you're just be, it's a new start. beginning, yeah. it's a fresh start. It doesn't matter what you've done in your past, it doesn't matter what you've done. This is all put behind. This is, this is a fresh start. And when I first converted, I had this feeling of uh, light, I felt light. I felt like uh, a peace. I don't know if how you feel or what you think. But yeah, no, but like I said, we researched it for months, yeah. and then eventually went to mosque. I think, I think there yeah. might be a bit of relief in there as well. It sounds like you've been yeah, researching for a while. So, because I wonder sure if you had to, if I had to go back to that specific mosque, which we'll do, you know, to take it. But because I was watching a lot of videos, all the speakers corner, you know. Yeah. 
I'm not going to go to the camp. I'm not going to go to the camp. But then they finally find it this time. So you was considering going back to the mosque to take Shahada? You were thinking about that? Yeah, because, the yeah. Guy, because when the guy, um, one of the gentlemen there who was teaching uh, for Islam and stuff, he was saying, no, 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 sorry, one of the guys who went on the induction day, yes. He 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 been from uh, he been going to mosque a few weeks before that, and he took the shower. Okay. And he said, you know, yeah. So yeah, it's, yeah. Wow. How old are you, by the way? Twenty-seven. Okay. I was twenty-three. Yeah. When I became Muslim, yeah. So it's a good it's a good good time to start, and it's I'm telling you, it's the best thing you've ever done. And at the moment, you're new. Yeah, and and, and you got a lot to learn, but let me tell you, it's easy. Yeah. Don't don't think it's difficult. It's easy. Look, it, it takes time. It's gonna have you're gonna have a bit of difficulty here and there, a few challenges here and there, like anything. Oh, but, I know that. Yeah, that's, that's just the But I'm telling you, I, this is a life changer. It really is. Yeah. You know. Are you, are you, are you yeah, it's Muslim. Yeah. There's the Muslims, uh, there's loads of Muslims, there's a lot of Muslims here. In fact, mu I'd say the majority of Hyde Park is Muslim. <laughs> there's a lot of Muslims come here because we believe it's true, so we want to share it. You see all these brothers here, they're trying to share it with people. And another thing I see here, I might be biased because yeah. of, of, you know, of what I've taken the shadow, but even before that, it's a big difference I noticed, I'm not being shallow or anything, but yeah. when I see the people speak for the it's even like oh, normal, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but sometimes when I see some other really, like, you know, yeah. they're like shouting, screaming, and I don't know. We have, our, we have our loud ones as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And I've seen it on speakers corner, right? I've seen Yeah, them, yeah we know, do have a few loud ones. Some of them, like, you know, like, yeah. I mean, I don't have my phone on me, but if you want, I can give you my WhatsApp number. Yeah. And if you need anything, yeah. we can be in touch. I don't actually live in London. I live in Turkey at the moment. You're in Turkey? <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. So, uh, but, but I do know some brothers who live in London. And if you want to meet, I also know, know some brothers in, not Swansea, but I know some brothers in Cardiff. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, uh, I can link you up with some some brothers. It's nearly Ramadan, so you, I'm sure you'll get invited to loads of uh, food. You know, I, uh, and uh, so I mean, I can, would you like to take my my phone number? I'll type it. I don't I don't want to give other people. You know. Yeah, and it's uh, John Fontaine. Uh, J O H N space F O N T A I N T A I N yeah and it was yeah Fontaine so you know you can send me a WhatsApp I don't have my phone right now but tomorrow I'll have my phone you can send me a WhatsApp we can be in touch and and look as I said look it takes time to learn everything don't pressure yourself take your time um, the main thing is now just learning the basics of Islam learning how to pray because you know, uh, when I went to uh, London Central Mosque on the induction day no. um, the guy said oh I'm going to tell you so a lot of um, like to think people are interested in the religion so we sat in the mosque yeah. Yeah. So we, we we put our hands here to start. Say Allah Akbar. Yeah. And then so we when we in the first part of the prayer, we put our hands like this. Then we recite a chapter of the Quran, the first chapter, which is the, the chapter one of the Quran. It's seven verses. And then we recite another chapter, maybe a small chapter. And then we do Rukhu, which is bending. And then we come back up. And then we do Sujood, where we put our head on the floor. Then we sit down, we do Sujood again. Then we stand up and we do another round. That's, that, that is two units of prayer. Now, different prayers have different amount of units. So it sounds all confusing, but, but it's a mixture of reciting Quran, worshipping Allah, thanking Allah, obeying Allah and also seeking and asking Allah for, for things, you know, whether it's help, support, 
um, forgiveness, uh, praising Allah for, for who He is and what, what he, for things He's done. Uh, also reciting the Quran because this, you know, it's a mixture of a lot of things. It's not just prayer, like in, from the Christian sense. It's, it's a lot of things. And the, the first chapter is, is a mixture of that as well, the first chapter of the Qur'an. And um, if you send me a WhatsApp message, I have some small booklets that I can send you by PDF. And I've got one that teaches the prayer. And in the Arabic, when it says in Arabic, it's written in transliteration, which is like English letters. So when you, you know, it, 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 it's written in English letters, but if you say it, it's, it's Arabic. Yeah. So that will help you in the beginning. And then you can, you know, learn how to pray. And and the best thing is, if you, do you have any Muslim friends or? I know Muslims in London, and I work with yeah. some. But no, like as, as personal. Yeah. I think the best thing to do would, would be to go back to the mosque where you've been, because you're familiar with the mosque. They, they probably remember you. And and they they usually have. Uh, there's also a brother here. He have like new Muslim classes. We, we was giving it this morning actually. At 10 o'clock in is Al Muntada. They have some new Muslim classes there. We, we're helping the new Muslims. I mean, you're welcome to attend that as well. They teach the prayer. But at the end of the day, Islam is what you make it. You know, you, you can't expect to not put any effort in and not feel the, the rewards and, and the benefit. You know, it, it, it takes time as well. Yeah. How are you feeling? Yeah, it's good. I think, it, I think it's good to finally do it because yeah. I've been recent on that for six months probably. And then, six months you've been yeah, looking at it. Yeah, the last few months saying more and more. Yeah. And then, yeah, I like say I went to the mosque and got myself a nice... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've been reading out there, haven't I? I don't know, probably about 20 pages or something every day or try to do it every day. The main thing is to understand it. Yeah. Don't read 20 pages and not understand yeah. it. Yeah, of course. If it takes 10 or 5 pages, yeah. Yeah, just comprehend it, understand what. The other thing is as well, the Quran is not like any other book. It can, it, it, some, you got to realize that the Quran was revealed over 23 years, piece by piece. It didn't just come down in one go. So it's like clumps of verses came together. So sometimes you'll be reading and then it'll change subject or change story. And you think, it's not like other books, you see. So, again, you know, uh, watching videos on YouTube, uh, reading books, understanding the Quran, what Allah is saying is, all this is going to benefit you. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's, that's amazing. I'm happy to uh, speak to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me Yeah. It's good, yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. Can I introduce you to a couple of converts? There's loads of converts here, you know. There's, there's, um, there's loads of new Muslims and converts here. And um, it'd be just nice for you to meet a couple, you know, just before you go. And just to see, like, there's so many brothers who... Let me introduce you to Brother Ben. Come.